we're going to log in as our crush admin user and create another user that will be an end user. Then we'll log in with that user and demonstrate uploading some files and downloading some files. Since this user is an administrative user, they have a button called admin. I'm going to click it. The first screen is the dashboard. The dashboard contains many overall general statistics about the server, so you can get an at-a-glance view of what's going on with the server. There's graphs showing you recent history, about memory usage, about transfer speeds, connections. We first want to go make our user, so we're going to go to the user manager here at the top. We're going to make a new user here called my user. And we're going to give the user my user access to one folder. We take the folder, we drag it from the left side to the right side, and then we grant the permissions that we want this folder to have. And on this folder, I'm going to give full permissions for the user. This is just a test folder, so that's why it's got the funny name. We're going to save changes. And now we're going to log out and log in as our test user and make sure everything works. We're logged in. There's already an example file in this folder. I have three files here that I'm going to upload into this folder as well. Take these files drag and drop, start uploading. I've uploaded the files now. You can see them here. And I'm going to download this file here as well. So there's the basics of creating a user, uploading and downloading with that user, and just getting you started working with Crush FTP.